So the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is the uh, second sequel to The Mummy. It is, again, it stars Brendan Fraser, and it tells a new story. This time we are abandoning Imhotep, and we are going straight for a brand new thing. And it's, it's decent, okay? Guys, I love The Mummy. I really like The Mummy Returns. Like, it's just a hair away from love. The Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor is the first Mummy movie I ever saw. And I really loved it the first time I saw it. And I'm really glad I watched it again. Because looking back, I don't love this movie. But I still really like it. There are issues. One, and this is a minor nitpick, but I wish they had gotten Rachel Weisz back as um, Evie, just because continuity-wise, I hate when they recast characters, and the whole time it kind of took me out of the movie because I was just thinking that must have been really awkward on set. Whereas all the actors, besides like the new actors, but all the original actors, they filmed the first two movies with, with Rachel Weisz as Evie. And then this time around, it's a new actress. I forget her name. But then they have to treat her like she's the same person. And I can't even begin to imagine how awkward and weird that would be. But I honestly... I didn't like the new actress as much as uh, Rachel Weisz, just because, I don't know, the main thing was that it just, she just kind of took me out of the movie quite a bit, just because after watching the first two movies, I would, I'm used to, you know, I'm used to Rachel Weisz, and now it's someone else, and it's, it's just weird. But if I'm going to be completely honest, she didn't do a horrible job. I just didn't like her as much. Uh, Brendan Fraser, again, is great. He's always great. Jet Li is in the movie as... Uh, I forget the name of the... I forget the name of the dude, but he's the mummy this time around. And he was pretty good, honestly. Um, I like that they had... The characters who are supposed to be Chinese speaking Chinese rather than English. And there there are quite a bit of subtitles to this movie. Which I respect because it's a lot easier nowadays to just make a movie and make foreign characters who are in a foreign country with other foreign characters who speak English for some reason just so the audience can understand it. I like it when... They say, you know what, logically they wouldn't speak English, they would be speaking whatever language they would be speaking, and they just have the subtitles. I respect that because it makes sense. And, yeah, I like the villain in this movie. The action set pieces are really good. Uh, the CGI could have been better. The CGI... I would have to say is uh, comparable to the first Mummy. But the first Mummy gets a pass because that movie came out in 1999. This movie came out in 2007? 2008? So there's really no excuse for the CGI to be about as good as the movie that came out in 1999. But I feel I, this movie was directed pretty well, too. I mean, they switched up the director. Uh, the director of the first two movies was Steven Summers. And then they had a different director for this one. And again, I forget the name of the director, but he did a fine job. I mean, the movie was shot pretty well. And, you know, it was edited really well and acted really well. It's just that it wasn't written as well. <laughs> 
Um, there were certain attempts at humor. This movie has a lot of attempts at humor, which, fine, I mean, the first two Mommy movies had some attempts at humor, and a lot of them worked. This movie has a lot of attempts at humor that don't work, because this movie is set, I forget how many years after The Mummy Returns, but in The Mummy Returns, their son Alex was just a little kid, and then in Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, he is now, you know, college age, so 18, 19, and a lot of the humor attempts in this movie come from the fact that Alex is trying to kind of outdo his father, and his father has retired, retired, and so just situational father and son humor because they don't get along, and this isn't what Rick wants for his son, but his son feels like he doesn't understand that kind of stuff, and it didn't work that well. There are certain jokes in this movie that didn't quite land as well as I think they had hoped that they would. And I can't say I didn't enjoy hearing them, though. It's weird. The jokes don't land that well, but at the same time they do, just because the joke delivery is done by one of the most charismatic actors in film, Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser has a way of taking a line that, while it might not be that funny if anyone else said it, he has such a charisma to it that when he delivers it, it's still entertaining. And the opening scene with him is actually pretty funny. There's a fishing scene, and it doesn't go well. It's actually pretty decently funny. And, you know... I really enjoyed the movie. I just wish there was something more to it. I wish they had... I mean, I'm not saying that you should rush a movie at all. But when you have a difference of about five years in between the movies... It almost feels like it took way too long to get done. If the movie came out in, like, 2004, 2005, I think that would have been much better, I feel like, because I don't know if it's the same writers that wrote uh, the first two, but if they had gotten the same writers, same directors, same type of action, adventure, humor to it, it probably would have been a better movie, but it just wasn't. But that being said, I still really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend it to anyone who is a fan of the first two Mummy movies and hasn't seen this one yet. I just wouldn't really recommend it as a starting point to the franchise. Just because I feel like if you're one of those people where if you only see one movie and you judge whether or not you're going to watch the others based on that one movie, if this is that one movie... I I feel like your level of interest in the franchise might drop a little bit. I'm not saying it would completely kill it. I'm not saying you would watch this movie and be like, oh, I'm not going to watch the other Mummy movies. I just feel like you would watch it and be like, oh, well, my, I might watch them eventually. My hopes just aren't that high for them. But it's not a horrible movie by any means. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been Dracula Untold. That movie happened. Yeah. Anyways, guys. I am going to give The Mummy, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, a C+. It's a solid action-adventure movie with Mm, kind of poor character development, not very many great humor, humorous parts. 
it just feels like kind of a shell of the Mummy movies, whereas the first two Mummy movies had so much life to them. This one just feels a little more hollow, I guess. But thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of the Mummy Tomb of the Dragon Emperor. And be sure to um, come back Saturday for my review of Spider-Man Homecoming. I'm seeing the movie tomorrow, and I have a skit that I filmed earlier today that I'm going to put at the beginning of it involving this guy right here, and this guy right here, and uh, it's just a fun little minute and a half thing, and yeah, I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video, let me know in the comments what you think, and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye!